Alrighty. Um, so this is going to be a reading for my cancers. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at um, what you're not expecting to happen from now until the 25th of this month. So we're going to get straight into it. Let me light my candle, guys. You know, we have to light a candle first of the readings. Um, we're going to get straight into it, though. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a beat. I just burned the crap out of this candle. Um, but subscribe so that you never miss a beat. If you want a personal, check out the description box. And let's get into the reading. So cancers, from now until the 25th of December, what are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place, okay? Okay. All right, so first card out, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Second card, we have the Four of Cups. The Hangman. The Page of Wands. And the Page of Cups. Okay. All right, and... Five more cards. What are my cancers not expecting to happen that may actually take place? Now on the 25th of December. Okay, so we have rejoice and celebration in reverse. We have authority. We have fertility in reverse. We also have stand your ground. And then last card we have is transformation in reverse. Interesting. Okay, um, let me back this up a little bit and let's talk about these cards. So right off the bat, um, I'm getting this energy uh, for one. This being a time frame in which you're really looking at the details in regards to your situation. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, you're looking in detail in terms of your situation. So this is looking at what hasn't been working for you up until this point, um, what you may need to correct in your foundation as well. Um, and this is also, I, I feel like the focus is heavily on your finances and exactly how you can um, build a stronger foundation for yourself in terms of your finances. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles as well, this is like looking at the details in terms of a relationship for some of you more than financially. Um, there may be a relationship that you've been expecting to go a different way and things may have been, you know, kind of developing at a slow rate or the connection itself may be going left. And this is you taking a look at whether or not it's worth trying to put more energy into um, or if the connection is fixable as well. Um, also, okay, this is a random thing that came up. With your job, there may be either an error or something that you may need to correct in, form, in, in terms of like paperwork if you work with the paperwork at your job. Or when it comes to your job, some of you guys may be getting like a promotion that may require you to kind of be more hands-on with your job as well. But nonetheless, this is going to be a time frame in which you guys are going to address everything that you're really not too fond of. At this point, um, you could be feeling emotionally discontent with how things may have played out in a sense this year. You may have expected you to be a lot further. You may have had a lot of ideas and a lot of things that you wanted to launch or, you know, step into. But the circumstances of, you know, COVID and 2020 being all over the place, some of you guys may have been on this energy, the hangman like waiting for the opportunity to actually seize the moment almost. 
And then another thing, I see you guys now. Okay, so I see you guys also either having someone come your way who wants to work on the relationship you guys have. This could be an ex or somebody who you just had like a slight break from or just confusion about. And this person may want to work on things, but you may be, again, on the fence about that because you may be dissatisfied with the way that they may treat you emotionally. But I, I see communication coming in from a younger fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, if they're not younger, this is just somebody who has more like youthful energy, may sometimes come off a little emotionally immature. And then for others of you, it looks like a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, possibly. Um, another thing, yeah, I see you guys turning down some sort of reconciliation during this time frame, or if you guys are going to try to reconcile with someone else, they may turn it down. So be careful of even getting your feelings caught up in a situation like that, where there may be possible rejection. Cause I, I do see that energy. Um, if it's not you, it may be them. Okay. Um, I also see some of you guys having to turn down, like going to certain events. So this could be like a friend inviting you or di like a acquaintance. Let's say that an acquaintance inviting you to some sort of event or get together and you may have to turn it down just for the sake of not, you know, going through the whole drama aspect with the people that may be there or, some of you may have like a loose friendship with this individual and you just may not want to be bothered. OK, um, another thing I see. Some of you guys obsessing over fertility. Or motherhood, so I'm really speaking to the people who don't have children, who feel like it may be a little too late for you to have children. This may be more of a focus during this time frame. You may be, you know more concerned about it and, and feeling like, dang, is my opportunity up? Some of you, this is more of in concern to like father issues or mommy issues that you may have because you may have had a rough childhood where you didn't feel like you were supported. And then this comes back up during this time frame. And you may be realizing how you having mommy issues or daddy issues may be affecting your, your love life and maybe affecting your ability to be a mother now or a father now. Some of you who also have children currently, the person who you have a child with, there may be some conflict. You may have to like, if you're the mother or if you're okay, if you have a child with someone, regardless of if you're a mother or a father, you may have to stand up for yourself during this time frame in terms of like visitation rights or your rights just in general with your child. Um, so kind of keep that in mind as well. This is kind of like a heads up. You may have to, some of you guys may have to actually go to court for that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's a transformation that's kind of halted here with this card being in reverse. There's like changes that are trying to happen, but it's like you're in the in-between state of some of you guys kind of fighting the transition. Um, and others of you, it's like you're not really seeing things from a clear point of view just yet. Um, and this may be causing issues with you guys having a transformation in your life a lot sooner. Okay. Um, and then some of you, you're attaching yourself too much to a relationship or what you're expecting to come from a relationship. And that's why you're not making the necessary changes to get out of certain um, connections. Because it may be painful to release it and know that you gave your all to it and you didn't really get what you expected back. So, but don't be a victim to this because this is going to stop you from being happy if you're not careful. Okay. So this is what I see. Thank you so much for watching this. This was just a quick overview I hope you enjoyed and you took something from this reading. If you did, thumbs this video up, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one. 
Um, oh yeah, and then also if you guys also want to get a personal, I meant to say that too, check out the, I think I said that, check description, subscribe, all that jazz, and yes, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.